All right, I'm going to revisit an example that uh, I've got a screencast on just another example of a user-defined function in VBA. It's uh, related to the efficiency of a semi-truck of weight W and traveling at a speed of S. So what we're going to do um, in this screencast is convert a user-defined function. So if I go back to the editor, we have made a, a user-defined function, but we want to convert this into something more akin to a built-in function where we want to be able to use it in all workbooks on our computer without having to um, you know, bring in that function, the, the code for it, into each of those workbooks. We want to be able to create it such that we can use that efficiency function for all workbooks that we ever use on this computer much like a built-in function. Some of you might know that you can add in different types of things into Excel. For example, um, I have already added this in. There's a solver add-in and there's a data analysis tool pack. To add those into Excel, you go to the file menu options and you can do add-ins um, and then you can click go down here. And this is how you would select the analysis tool pack and the solver add-in, for example. So we're going to convert this, our efficiency function, into an Excel add-in that you can then add in and use it for all of your workbooks. To do this, we're going to save this file as something known as an XLAM file, or um, it's a Excel add-in. So I'm going to, I'm just going to navigate to some place where I know I can find. So I'm going to navigate to the desktop. I'm going to save this as just efficiency. And instead of being a macro enabled workbook, I'm going to save it as an Excel add in. So that's kind of down here at the bottom. So we can, uh, for some reason, it changed my path. So desktop efficiency. And I'm going to save that on the desktop. So this is known as an XLAM file. Um, so now, I'm going to um, insert a new workbook. So we can go to File, Options, just like we would add in the Solver tool pack or the Data Analysis tool pack. I can click on Add-ins. And if it's not shown here, a lot of times it won't be shown here, the, the efficiency is the one that we want to we add in. So I'm going to go down here to Go and then browse. So we can browse then to the desktop and we can click efficient and now I can click on make sure that's clicked and I can click OK and it brings it in and now any workbook that I have this is a brand new workbook has nothing to do with that other file that had the efficiency function within it and I can uh, type in efficiency and you can see as I, as I st start to type that in it's got that so I could put in um, I think it was the weight and then the speed, so maybe like 65 miles an hour. This will tell us our gas mileage. Uh, you can convert essentially a user-defined function into a built-in function in uh, using the techniques in VBA and Excel.